All right, friends, if you're anything like my husband and myself, the biggest battle of going out to eat is figuring out where to go. So the next time you find yourself in our situation, turn to St. Louis Magazine, which is exactly what we did over the weekend. We were thumbing through the October issue featuring over 100 top dining spots, including the 2022 Restaurants of the Year. This is one of those issues that we keep on basically our coffee table all year round so we can keep going back to it. George Mayhee is the dining editor of St. Louis Magazine. George, always good to see you, sir. Thank you, and that's exactly what you're supposed to do is mm -hmm. keep it on your coffee table, check, you know, dog ear some pages, we check do. them off. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, 100, uh, 100 restaurants. I bought some of the goodies from some of the newer ones and, and one from one that a lot of people don't know about. Perfect. So Let's over right in here. Clayton, tar, uh, this, these are tartines and this is from Ivy Cafe in Clayton which opened two months ago. Nice. Their claim to fame is tartines which is the fancy name for toast. Mm -hmm. Avocado toast yeah. is maybe the famous most famous one but these are really beautiful artistically presented. Oh, so uh, the owner who actually makes these plates as well, she's the sourdough cook and she's the artiste that puts this together. This is delicata squash mm -hmm. and some herb ricotta. Delicata is the first squash of the year, so that's why it's here. Uh, this one has blue oyster mushrooms oh, so and some good. homemade hummus mm -hmm. and some goat cheese and some microgreens that were picked this morning. So, so that's a beautiful thing. And actually this gets a little of this. Some nice. pumpkin seeds. I forgot. I've, they're all over the floor too, that's so that's good. And this is a little. We'll clean them up. It's a little zatar, which is a. That's a Middle Eastern kind of warm oh. spice. So that's actually how that looks. But this is a really great restaurant. Mm -hmm. Just opened up, uh, breakfast and lunch, um, uh, seven days a week. Open for dinner, I think, before the holidays. Even Some better. unusual items in there, things mm -hmm. you won't see anywhere else in the grab-and-go case and in a, and there's a little gifty case mm -hmm. in case you want to get a gifty. I do. <laughs> I would love a gifty, so, especially one of these plates. And, Those are beautiful. And these are roasted carrots, which just came on the menu, which mm -hmm. I just I don't even want to cut them. I just want to take <laughs> them, and, them. And, and, and eat them. So that's a, it's a great place. Just opened. Um, another place that recently opened is in Lafayette Square. Yes. And this is Winnie's Wine Bar. Mm -hmm. So this is Paul and Wendy Hamilton's latest. Winnie is her nickname. They We've got obviously some some uh, flights there. I, I think that. eight different flights, mm -hmm. but it's a lot of shareable items, right? Yes. And so this is this is the tuna, sesame and crust. It's a little soy goes on top. There's a little aioli there. So this is a great shareable item. Everything's pretty much under 20 bucks, and that looks so good. like I said, everything's shareable, but may maybe not this. No, that would be all for me. This is the, this is a chocolate tort and espresso mousse cake. Big piece, but a I bet very you, big piece. I bet you could handle I it. I definitely so, can. That's for sure. So uh, anyway, this is a, a travel-themed bar. Uh, the the tables are made out of old suitcases. Fine. There's there's clocks on the wall. There's one clock that's stuck at five o'clock because it's, it's always five o'clock yep, somewhere. Yep. So that anyway, makes sense. really comfortable place. It looks like an airport lounge of yesteryear. So that's Winnie's Wine Bar. They're open, I mm -hmm. think, six nights a week. Um, and then we move over to Blood and Sand, yeah. which a lot of people, I don't know why they don't know about it. It's mm -hmm. been there over 10 years. Right. Uh, it's on St. Charles Street, which is one reason. It's a narrow yeah, street. Right the, downtown. The sign's about this big. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's not on a main street, so a lot of people still don't know about it. It was members only, if you remember. Right. And now it's open to the public as mm -hmm. well as members. Oh, that looks so good. An incredibly good restaurant. It's like a special occasion. Take me somewhere else. It, I can't tell you how good it is. They've got different tasting menus. Um, this is a, an item that, that just came on the menu. This is uh, a roasted duck with dauphinoise potatoes. Oh. We call them scalloped here uh, in, in the say. Midwest. Mm -hmm. And there's some braised kale. But what they do here, this is the this is this is it. We take some fresh shaved truffles. And you just elevate it even more. From France. I can't uh. tell you how much this is costing. Th those Them? folks. <laughs> anyway, this is just an unbelievable oh, so dish. Good. Great restaurant. Uh, open, I think, five nights a week. Mm -hmm. They have a, a bottle program where you can get wines. You can't get this wine except in restaurants or on their bottle shop. This is an allocated wine. You okay. know your wines. It's 2007. I do. Mm -hmm. So I'll that be is diving a, in in yeah, about so, December. So that's how you get uh, you know the the rare wines. You it join up good. for the for the bottle shop program and get stuff mm -hmm. that nobody else can get. Well, George, you did a good job bringing all this stuff today. And if you are a foodie like George, subscribe to the St. Louis Magazine Dining Newsletter on their website. I love getting this sent right to me in my inbox. So thank you. Keep you were doing like it. You're like a biggest fan. That's I why am I love a big coming fan. on here. I am, and I'm <laughs> this big. Is Great. Food fan, too. We will post this segment on our website, kmov.com slash great day following the show.